All right, well, welcome to this episode of Cindy's Wild Weight Loss Journey. This is episode eight, actually, of season two. Um, I have a special guest today, and today is a little bit different because we're going to be talking to Joey Atlas, awesome coach and trainer, and he has a MS in physiology, and he's very exercise knowledgeable. Physiology. Exercise physiology. I'm sorry. That's all right. To me, I'll it's get... the same thing, but, you know, physiology <laughs> is the body. <laughs> yes. So, um, see, we don't have to be perfect. We're human. No. And, um, no. So. Unscripted, unedited, un unrehearsed. <laughs> totally. I'm like having a <laughs> Not nervous today, so this is a really good thing. I, I'm really much good. more comfortable than the first time we did this. I can see um, that. So yeah, we're going to be talking to Joey for a little bit about something that's very, very important. It's a pandemic, and it's not only in this country, but it's really around the world now. And uh, so with that, Joey, thank you for joining me again on my Total podcast. Pleasure. Total pleasure. Thank you for having me. I really do yes. appreciate it. This is very important. And um, it's it's big. It's we're gonna get into it, but I mean, there's no other way to say it. It's just, it's it's so big. Pe most people can't even see it, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna we're gonna help anybody who is paying attention and listening to see what they may not be seeing, but it's right in front of everybody's face. That's that's how insidious it is. So, I'm looking forward to this. Me too. Me too. Yeah. And so. The viewers and the listeners are probably wondering what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So what we're talking about is a video that you came across recently. Well, I ha by the way, I didn't I forgot to tell you, I have a, a custom URL we'll be able to send people to. Okay. To, to see the video and to sign up for my, not only my commentary on it, but also this video, this audio, and then anything we add to it as a result of what this is triggering. So we will give them the website as we're, as we're closing out here uh, or whenever you want to give them the website, we'll, sure. we have a website they can go to, to get access to the video, to save it, to watch it over and over, to get my commentary follow-up, to get this, uh, this podcast video audio that we're recording right now, have it all in one place. So awesome. Yeah, here we go. That's good. All right. Well, I'm excited about that. And, uh, so you recently came across a video and you shared it with me mm -hmm. and you did send out an email to anybody who was on his email newsletter list. And if you're not, we're going to tell you how you can at the end of this, because the information that Joey puts together and the time he puts into it is timeless and it's very needed and it's extremely helpful. And I can attest to that. And so mm -hmm. the video is called fed up and it's a, it's about food industry. It's about um, the pandemic of obesity. And, and so disease. I, and disease, yes, yeah. there's chronic he, he, disease. He, he, again, like, we, you know, there's, we'll get into this, but I watched it once, right? And as I'm watching it, we'll talk about the whole story, but if you, if you this is why I told everybody to listen, watch it closely and, and watch it with a pen and a pad because there are things that are not so obvious un un until you hear them and see them, which there are people walking around who look okay, who are not <laughs> overweight, but they're diseased, all right? So we have to remember this is not about just the obese, even though that's a big, a big part of it, there's also uh, this whole element of how what we're gonna talk about affects people who are not even overweight from a health perspective. Um, so go ahead. I didn't want, I didn't mean to interject, but I, I want no, people please. to listen to all, all facets yeah. of this because it's really Absolutely. Important. And you just reminded me, um, there's a, there's, they call it skinny fat, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken, because, yeah. and prior to me knowing you, working with you, I was one of those people that looked at a thin person and thought, well, they're, they're healthy just because my mentality of what society tells us is healthy and not healthy. Right. Unhealthy is fat, healthy is thin. Mm -hmm. That's what I grew up with. Right. So when I would see somebody like that, I automatically assumed they have no health issues, mm -hmm. but I was very wrong. And that's one thing that I really, when I, when I saw that in the video, I'm like, it makes so much sense. Yeah. Yeah. It's big. So it where, where do you, all right, you want me to tell the story of, of how 
how I started watching the video and then what transpired and what, why everything was triggering me to, to get this out to everybody. I'm going to let you say, you, you share that. Okay. So, <clears throat> well, as you know, as, as one of my private coaching clients, there are many things we've worked through that number one, if you were aware of the issue, you were, you were not sure how you were going to, you were going to tackle it and, and defeat it. And then the other part was the unknowns that you, that you didn't even know about. Um, we would have to address those in real time. And as you reflect back now for how far you've come in this whole thing, not, you know, this, not just the physical part of it, but the mental, the emotional, the psychological, uh, your internal health, um, all your vitals that, that you had had a chance to take a look at in your last annual exam. Uh, you have gotten to experience firsthand a lot of the unseen forces and, and negative influence uh, that we're surrounded by in our society in terms of the food and beverage industry and how we think we're supposed to be eating or not eating or how we're supposed to be dieting if we're going to go on a diet and lose weight. And what people don't realize is that, and that when I say people, you know, I don't know, 80, 90% of the population, because five to 10% of us kind of have it figured out. <clears throat> the other 90 some odd percent is walking around surrounded in this matrix that they can't see both internally and externally, like their own mindset has has been shaped by their surroundings from birth right so a lot of our clients local and long distance really don't even fully understand the problems they're dealing with that's why they haven't been able to figure them out and fix them because every you know you for decades thought i got to go on a, this diet or i got to do this crazy workout plan or i got to do this uh, extreme <laughs> nutritional counseling and supplement uh big, uh, you know, crazy supplement regime. I'm not talking bad about supplements. Supplements are no. awesome, but we know we're talking about two different types of supplementation. Right. Here. Right. We're not talking right. about like smoke and mirrors, alternative doctor going to do a saliva test on you and tell you, you need a thousand dollars worth of supplements every day, every, every month. Did that. Okay. You're not the only one. So I say this because this this documentary really could have any viewer if you watch it fully understand what's going on that is unseen okay again so 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 that saturday night i decided while i'm cooking dinner i'm by myself I'm, i want to i want to educate myself a little more so i open up amazon prime on my laptop put it right on top of the coffee machine near my stove where I'm doing all my, my, my cooking work. And I go to Amazon prime suggested, suggested videos. And this thing catches my eye and I read the description and I see, I, I forget, you know, I do my quick analysis, how many stars, how many views I read the, the summary. I'm like, all right, this is it. I'm going to watch this. So, I, I'm surprised and I, I think I never heard of it before, but somebody probably did mention it to me in the past in the, since it came out in 2014. So I start watching it uh, while I'm making dinner. I sit down, watch the rest of it as I'm eating dinner and I'm thinking, holy smokes, like I need to watch this with a pen and pad in hand because there are things that are being shown and exposed and said that Everybody needs to see and hear everybody because once you start to understand what they've exposed and what they're trying to still expose, you can then get an understanding of your own dysfunctions and <laughs> where, where they started and how they're being fueled and how they're being even uh, exacerbated by the food and beverage supply in our society. So, I mean, I think it was that night on our coaching check-in or, or via text, I told you, you need to watch this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so then, and then not long after, once I get the custom webpage set up, I emailed out to our whole following. 
Um, so let's, let's pause there and I'll ask you, I know you watched it. You were like very intrigued. It started to make a lot of sense to you. You shared it with some of the grandkids. What, what came from that? Well, after I watched it, after you sent it to me and I was, you do need to watch it more than once because yes. I've watched it again, almost through a second time and I'm getting different information that I didn't get the first time. Exactly. And but, it's but still not different, just deeper or deeper. Right, right. Right. Because there's so much in there. I got right. other information that I didn't hear the first time or, you know, just for whatever reason. And, um, and so after watching it, I'm thinking, I really need to share this. Now, Josiah is six, so I, he would not understand, but Isaiah just turned 12. And so I had an opportunity to share it with him, like probably the first half an hour because, you know, but since then, and I think it's been maybe a week mm -hmm. or so, we'll say a week to two right. weeks. <clears throat> and ever since then, and I asked him this morning, he said, I cannot stop thinking about this video. Mm. And I said, okay, well, how has it affected you? He says, well, when I go to the store, I read labels. Right. He said that one of the big things that really got him was all the different names that sugar has now. They disguise sugar under other names. So we don't recognize it if we don't know that's what it is. Right. And so he said he's more aware. He doesn't want to eat things. He, he says, you know, if he's home, he looks at what mom's drinking. He looks at the label. He's like, he tells me um, the other day, his little brother had Fruit Loops. He said, do you know how many sh grams of sugar are, are in Fruit Loops? Yeah, let's pause here because <laughs> number one, this is really important. Number two, uh, this, even though like right this moment, we're talking about the sugar aspect of things, sugar is only a small part of the equation. When you watch yes. the whole documentary, you realize that sugar is only, no pun intended, one ingredient in, right. in this bigger problem. Sugar is only one, right? So we start looking at the methods of food farming and food production and food processing and food preservation. And the other parts in there, um, how certain foods are designed to be addictive to us. Yes. Again, there's so much in that documentary, layers and layers, when you realize Oh man, they're, they, they're basically trying to kill us without yeah. saying it. All they want us to do is keep buying this stuff and buy more and more of it and be hooked on it like a drug. Yes. Again, so it's not just the sugar, even though it's a very, very important part of it. You know, that, if that alone causes any kid to evaluate foods, they'll eliminate most of the junk that kids are eating in the first place because most of it is loaded if not all sugar, sure. it's loaded with, right? But, you know, some people, oh, sugar is natural. Let's go, <laughs> let's go to another layer here. Sugar is a highly processed food ingredient. You know, from farming it with non-organic methods, mass production, you know, pesticides, herbicides, fungicides. Right. Now, now this is... So, so the other part of what we're talking about is how food production covers all foods, not just sugars and processed carbohydrates, but all foods. This is, some, this is really the crux of what we want people to be aware of, is that it's not just sugar, it's your whole food supply and how, you know, if we, if we want to look at a timeline, um, you know, a lot of this seems to have started when we were kids. You're not, you're not much older than me. So if you dial back the clock 40 years or 50 years, that's kind of when this country started shifting to higher volume production. You know, families started getting busier and they needed faster solutions. They couldn't you know, the mom or the grandparents living with them weren't about to keep spending three hours in the kitchen to prepare dinner for everybody every night. We, we became Americanized. We were busy. Kids playing sports, after school activities, um, you know, pe parents working more. So, so they need to find efficient ways to prepare a dinner. What this all meant was 
companies taking advantage of this and creating dinners in a box or dinners in a bag, which meant they're processed, they're preserved, and you could just take them out of the box or the bag, whip it up on the stove, and you've got, you know, whatever, your mac and cheese glue or, you know, your hamburger not-so-helpful helper. Uh, TV dinners. You know, I ate so many TV dinners. Now, like, let's, let's tell the new viewer who, who, who might just be discovering this, I was part of all that. I used to eat all the cereals that were 90% sugar. I used to eat toast and cereal and juice for breakfast, the full sugar carbohydrate breakfast, you know, thinking, well, this is what we need to have energy. I also used to eat the, the, the cakes with like, you know, 50 ingredients, chemicals on the label. <laughs> but, but, you know, eventually I woke up thanks to, seeing my dad be the example in the house of, of how to take care of yourself and train the body and exercise and eat properly most of the time. We were, we were relentless as kids. My parents couldn't keep up with us. My, my grandparents could. They, they did for a while, but then it was like, you guys, you have to eat on your own. Like You're just going to have to make your own stuff. So they would stock the freezer, or the refrigerator, the closets with fast type foods. And that's what we wanted. And we thought it was okay. Right. We didn't know the foods that we were being supplied with by our food manufacturers were actually bad for us. When I say bad for us, I'm talking about disease causing, not just being overweight. We're right. talking about cancer causing, diabetes causing, heart disease causing. Even now, studies are coming out where dietary patterns and history of a person have certain effects on brain disease. Right. So to me, at this stage of my life, being in this kind of work and really learning how the body processes, assimilates and reuptakes the foods and the things we drink to become our body and our vital organs, it all makes sense to me. It's not like, oh, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. I had never known that. Everything we put in our body gets broken down into its finest elements and then gets reassimilated to become the cells of this body that replace the old cells that are going away. A lot of people don't, understand, don't know that, let alone understand no, it. I didn't. When, you, when you realize, oh, you are what you eat is really true. The foods and things we drink become the, cell, the new cells of our body that replace the old cells that are going away. We were always in a state of cellular turnover, so arguably, some people say it's a year, some people say it's 18 months, where every cell in our body is replaced by a new cell that replaces the old cell. Well, and, and that's true. That's not like, oh, you know, is that really true? Oh, yeah, it's true. If we're feeding our bodies an awful diet of chemicals, processed foods, uh, too much sugar, too much uh, bad fats, unhealthy fats, uh, foods that are sourced non-organically for mass volume production, you know, raised in the most horrible standards that are still allowable by, by government uh, man, uh, standards, right? And, and certifying organization standards. If we're still allowed to eat that, the you know, majority of the population thinks it's okay. They think right. all these big organizations are gonna look out for us. No, if you watch the documentary, it appears, and it makes sense, that the medical communities want a lot of people and need a lot of people to be sickly and ailing, right? They do. So again, we'll have to, uh, we, we have to watch this more closely to connect some dots, but when you see that there are certain elements of the food industry funded by the medical industry, it's just oh. the most bizarre thing in the world. You're like, well, that's awful. Like it's this is, disgusting. So, so what does this all mean? Right now, it's what's coming to me is that what this means to us as individuals is that we have to be our own decision makers on what is good and not good for us. And if you think joking around about, oh, I just love to eat a lot and I love my sweets and I love my carbohydrates, guess why you love them? You've been programmed since you were a child by the big companies who make them to love them. That's not you talking. That's you who's been programmed 
to talk like that. And these companies have taken advantage of the human brain body combo plus all the emotions to easily be addicted and reliant and codependent on these foods and beverages. That's right. Their argument argument is again there's so much in the documentary that you just you have to see and hear and, and, and look at to believe yourself I want to give credit Kate Katie Couric um, she did a fantastic job in putting this together it's caused me to think man I, I'm, I'm I want to try to reach out to her and her organizations because this is something that I believe in very strongly and and this message this is why we're doing this this is why yes. I shared the video this has to be perpetuated. This has to be evergreen until enough people wake up to cause more than just the 10% of our healthy people in this society to go to 20%, 30%. So that things change and the organizations realize we have to change what we're doing because people realize that we're fooling them and, and that we, we took their trust and we, we took it for granted, right? They just trusted us to give them all good stuff. Do you remember it in the, in the video where there was a very specific question posed to a gentleman? Uh, I forget. Again, this is why we have to watch it again. He was with either one of the food organizations or he was a lobbyist or he was with one of the beverage companies. He, he started to answer the question. And he in couldn't. A, in a very cloudy way and then whoever I think again I don't know if it was Katie Kirk or not but we have to watch it again they asked the question to him very specifically and he, he tried to start answering it but he was stumped he, he, he was at a complete loss for words and and what's awesome is that they let the camera run on this because yes. they could have changed it and he just looked away he had no answer there was no answer he couldn't speak and honestly <laughs> And I saw it this morning and I, and I rewound it to watch him again. And the first time I watched it, it really stuck out. But then I saw it again and I'm thinking, you know what? And I'm watching this guy and he, and he starts to try to answer it. And I'm already thinking, you can't lie. You're trying to lie and you have nothing to say. And so he's like, well, hold on. I, I need to think about this. He never spoke again. And I'm right. like, busted because Big the they are taking advantage of the people. They yeah. are totally taking advantage of, like you said, our trust and that we're trusting them to bring us healthy food. And even um, Joey, when Michelle Obama, when she started with the, the move and the kids and everything, she partnered with all these big companies and they know how to manipulate their They started their trying words. to blame, put the blame on exercise and physical activity it, instead yeah, of- they overeat and don't move. Right, right. No. so the answer was just move more. It, it, well, what about the six month old baby that was overweight? Okay, you know, they, they can try, but there's way too much evidence. There's way too many people affected at all different ages, all different walks of life. They can't justify it. No, the, um, there, there's so much in there. There was the, um, it, if, if you look at the human body, it's not designed to be overweight. It's not supposed to be overweight. That's how most diseases are perpetuated. Right, somebody is feeding themselves not only too much, but too much bad stuff. Some people say, well, my skinny friend can eat whatever they want and they're fine. Wait a minute, <laughs> your skinny friend is not fine. Right. Your skinny friend is most likely going to have some serious health issues, if it's, even if it's only cancer that pops up when they're 53 years old. Well, oh, how did that happen? If they've been feeding themselves a diet of blankety blank fried chicken and a 32 ounce soda every day and a, a, a double loaded biscuit in the morning plus orange juice, and then you know, take your pick for, for any over the top dinner in America, right? Because there's a lot of them. 
all they're doing is feeding themselves secret carcinogens. <laughs> that's, that's it. But it, this is hard to believe because, well, wait a minute, how, how can our food supply be like that? It is, it just is. If you watch the documentary, you can see the whole timeline of the industrialization of food, which means mass processing, chemicals being allowed in there, how foods are not only grown, but also animals raised with various drugs, hormones, uh, herbicides and pesticides in, in, in any kind of grain uh, or plant foods or veggies or fruits. You start realizing that the food becomes a delivery system, yeah. Trojan horse, for, for all bad stuff. Yes. But this is not so easy to see, let alone understand and then be able to take action on. This is from day one, I told you we're gonna start getting you to eat more organic choices, Yes. right? Organic foods. And then a lot of people still don't know what that even means. What is organic? It means, generally speaking, foods that are certified as not being grown with pesticides, not being grown with herbicides, not being grown with fungicides, not being grown with any uh, synthetic chemical fertilizer agent, um, either on the food itself or in the ground that it is grown through. So that, you know, you get people say, oh, well, if you wash this kind of fruit, it's still okay because you get the pesticides off the skin. No, what a lot of people don't realize is whatever is in the dirt the is soil. also being taken up by that fruit or veggie. So my philosophy is no, none of, none of it is, is, is good. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. Do I still have some here and there? Sure. And do we still have clients who do? Yeah, sure. But if, if your diet is 80, 90, 85, 95% organic, you're doing yourself a lot of good. A lot Let of me, good. Can I interject? I was just reminded of something. When I started working with you, now I was over 200 pounds. <laughs> I was unhealthy and I was having severe hot flashes. Like, they were really bad and i'm thinking okay well this is to be expected well i had a hard time receiving that but i didn't know how to fix it and i don't want drugs i don't want any of that garbage and it took a little while joey but once i started eating better and exercising and getting my body to do what it's been craving to do do you know i don't have hot flashes anymore I don't, Believe unless it. I get embarrassed or something, <laughs> right. but I, I don't live with them. I don't wake up in the middle of the night in a puddle of sweat. I, and I think it's very important to say this because there are women that are dealing with that thing and well, it's just menopause or premenopause, whatever it is. I believe because I went through it is that once we can start eating right, taking care of our insides, our insides are going to change. I know mine have, and I'm not dealing with that stuff yeah. yeah it's um that's big that you know some women can have the same experience as you and and have all those symptoms go away other women maybe not as as uh, pronounced some women may still have to deal with symptoms of menopause until it's done with but here's here's one thing that is for sure we just did a podcast on this speaking of that I'm, hope, I'm hopeful we can use this video in the Wellness and Weight Loss for Women podcast as well and get yeah. it out there. Um, any woman going through menopause, anything you do that is aimed toward a healthier style of living, whether it's through your foods, you know, improving your nutrition, uh, decreasing alcoholic beverage intake, decreasing sugary beverage intake, whether it's soda or tea or these other sugar, or orange juice, uh, you name it. Uh, and exercising properly, properly, not just exercising, but exercising right. properly, you're going to be able to better manage any symptoms that you're dealing with in menopause, if not get rid of them like completely or 90%, right? Which is something you experience through improving, not dieting, but how no. you managed your nutrition. Exactly. According Lifestyle to all change. these things we're talking about today, right? So, why did this documentary really trigger me? It triggered me because it, it's like the embodiment of all the information 
that we coach people on to make changes toward and away from, right? We want people to understand, here's why we're guiding you away from all this and toward this. Right. Like these are all the reasons why we're doing this because if you get rid of all this stuff and way of eating and way of being addicted and codependent on all these things and understand the reasons why this is good for you to move <laughs> this way, it's going to strengthen your resolve to do it. it. Will. It's going it to will. enhance your mental focus on your reasons why. This is not just about losing weight or getting no. toned. No. This is literally preventing deadly disease. Yeah. And spreading it to those around you. Like you're, if you run a household and you're eating this traditional unhealthy way, you're probably feeding your family the same stuff. Absolutely. How, how awful is that thought? Well, I, I did it up until, well, they still make their choices, but I, I eat better and there's, a there's better no influence. excuse. Yeah. There's no excuse for anybody else. It's a choice now, right. but I, I didn't know any better. And most people don't know any better because exactly. that's how that's they it. raise. That's it. That's it. And so most people don't know better. So, so this documentary was made in 2014 or released in 2014. Right. And I'm like, this is timeless until the food supply and the health of this nation is fixed. This video is evergreen. It's just as valuable now as it was the day it was released. It is. Right. So seeing, Oh man, this thing talks about all the things that I try to get through to our clients and that we try to teach our clients. I'm, we're just going to use this and keep this thing alive as best we can and maybe even have a renaissance of what they were trying to accomplish. And I'm going to reach out to them. I mean, Jamie Oliver is an awesome chef all based on health. His, his whole premise for how he cooks and prepares meals is based on health, wellness, and longevity. Awesome. Right. So he, I, I still have to go track him down at minimum, you know, on his YouTube channel and stuff like that. This is part of what I'm following up with on this, this documentary. I want to see what he's up to. I know, I know he was tossed out of some school systems for like really legitimately trying to improve them. I want to see what he's up to now because that totally jibes with my philosophy and the impact I want to have on the world. And it starts with the kids, right? Yes. I want to see what initiatives Katie Couric is up to if she's still involved in this space. And if there's any way we can combine efforts or if I can perpetuate and extend their message that much further through my audience, then I'm going to do that. Uh, I think this, unfortunately, I think it's going to get a lot worse in this country before it gets better. But the only way it's going to get better is by awareness. And the That's only right. way it's, the awareness is going to increase is if people like us are talking about it, living according to what we now know you know, living the right actions and then sharing that with others as often and as much as possible as the truth. Absolutely. Speaking of the truth, if anybody wants to get direct access to the, to the video, you can go to deadlyfoodtruth.com. So it's deadly, D-E-A-D-L-Y, food, F-O-O-D, truth, T-R-U-T-H, deadlyfoodtruth.com. You'll see we've got the video how, uh, hosted on, on, the, on the page there. There's, there's either going to be my holding place video or the actual comment, contextual commentary video that I'm going to do. And maybe we might even put this video on there. We'll see if it, if it makes sense and fits there. We'll do it. Uh, but Deadly Food Truth is where you can go, watch the video. You can share it from that page with anybody else you want to share it with. There are share buttons there. I got the share link posted right on the page for you. And we need to just get it out there. So on that yeah, note, share, if, share, share that video, share it yeah, on your Facebook page. If you page, get to that it. page anywhere, everywhere, if you get to that page, two things, you might be on a device, especially if it's a mobile device that does not allow you to see the video from a mobile device. You could probably watch it on a laptop and a desktop. If you're on a mobile and you're on the page we're telling you to go to Deadly Food Truth and you can't see the video, it doesn't play, there's a link right under it that will take you directly to the, sp the place on YouTube where the video is hosted. On that note, 
you will notice in the opening, opening credits, uh, one of the production companies, there were two of them that joined forces to produce it. One of them is Atlas Productions. I want to let it be known that is not me. I don't want any uh, erroneous credit given to me for, for having produced it. I, I would have loved to, and I'm happy to even just be, be spreading the message this way, but I don't want anybody to be misled. Oh, Joey also helped produce this. No, that's, that's not the intent. Not only was it a coincidence, but it was a divine message right from when I pressed play that this means something here and I need to really pay close attention because this is, gonna, this is going to be something that we use to help a lot of people. Uh, the other part is if you're going to tune in from another country outside the U.S., it is very likely that that, that will be un, unavailable to you. And then if you try to go to the YouTube one, that may, may, be, may be unavailable. You'll have to look for, for an alternative link in your country that will show the documentary. All right. I know Louise in our group, Louise, she couldn't see the first two, but she found one in the UK that was visible. Good. It's Good. also on Amazon Prime, if you have Amazon Prime. Um, but the page is the best place for you to go because we're going to continue to do follow-up on this. And there's a place for you to enter your email address for any follow-up we do on this and any inroads we make with connecting to any of the people who produced it, Katie Couric, Jamie Oliver, who knows? You never know. Like they might hear and see what we're talking right. about and realize we need this guy on our team because he gets it and he wants to help people. He wants to spread this and he has ways of helping people release themselves from the past programming Absolutely. and finding a better way. He knows how to coach them, right? That's what they do there. Let's get this guy and his team involved with us. So one step at a time, but the whole aim is to impact a lot of people. You're one person. Other people in total access are a group of people. Other That's clients right. are individuals, but we want to multiply that big time. We want other people to one, understand the truth, two, be kind of angry about it, three, be ready to make change because of it. I'm and then we, and we can help with all that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and I know I'm just one example, and, but I know that there are others. You have other one-on-one uh, -on -one clients that don't deal with what I deal with but at the other end of the spectrum. And so, you know, I just want to say that Joey is able to, he, he's definitely gifted and has a lot of wisdom. And he knows from not only personal experience, education, um, but working with other people, he is so well-rounded in this industry that personally, I don't believe that there's anyone he can't help. I think that the only one not helpable is the one who doesn't want help. That's how I feel because once we have information on how to change our lifestyle so we can be the best version of ourselves and be the best for our families and just to live life, if we reject that, you know, there's nothing we can do to help anybody in that situation. You know, that as you're talking, it's like, triggering some things in me you know for anybody new here i was one of those kids like i was victim to to the industrialization in the 70s and 80s of how food was being produced in this country and food companies were taking advantage of uh, overly busy families and it was like i couldn't get enough of this food like i had real issues and I realized looking back, man, they knew this about people. They knew people would use food as comfort and a place to derive instantaneous pleasure at any given moment and not get arrested for it. Right? <laughs> it's not illegal. It's not illegal to overeat or to choose what you want to eat. But it should be illegal for how they've, they've yeah. shaped the food industry. That's, some of that is revealed in, in the documentary. It should be illegal. Here's the thing, I went through this as a kid. Luckily, I was able to be saved because I saw an example in my dad of, there's something I gotta follow here with his example. It took me like 30 years to really defeat the monsters, but at least I had him to, to show me the first light, right? Having been a kid who lived through all that and then finally got over my dysfunctions and codependencies in adulthood, 
I realized, man, there's so many people who don't have an example to latch on to. Right. And they end up being the adults we see who have diabetes, who have uh, various types of heart issues, who are developing dementia, um, who, who, are, who basically live to eat. And they're killing themselves because they eat and then they have to go to the doctor to medicate right. and get treated. Right. So for me, I'm like, I made it out. I saw the truth, even though I was, I was in a bad place and I could have been victimized my whole life, I was able to find a way out, right? But I understand the majority of people never get that opportunity. I want to be, and I want my team to be, and I want our clients to be, and I want people in total access who are learning to be those examples and a way out for the people who need to discover that, right? So people say, well, you know, you're in great shape because you eat healthy and you exercise. No, hold on a second here. I eat healthy and I exercise because I want to honor this gift of life I've been given. I, I don't want to get diseased if I can prevent it. You know, nothing's guaranteed, but all the numbers in the studies are starting to show the proof. My choices are going to affect the likelihood of me developing or not developing disease or dying prematurely or aging prematurely or all the above. I eat healthy because I want to reduce all the risks possible. I exercise also because I want to reduce as many risks as possible. We do those two things because we want to live the best life we can with minimal medical issues, full strength, full energy, full vigor, full, full brain capacity. And guess what? By doing that, yes, I happen to look like I take care of myself. I happen to look like I'm in great shape. <laughs> but we don't do that to have being in great shape as the point of doing this all. We do this for our health, our life. If, you're, if your health is sacrificed, your whole life is sacrificed every day piece of it every aspect of your life suffers think about that so it's like an athlete training for a sport we make life our sport and we train for life we eat properly for life, for life. and we do it all in a realistic way that anybody can do because you know there's never any diet prescribed <laughs> we educate people on the way divine order intended us intended us to eat and how this earth was designed to right. nourish this body properly and perfectly. That's where we have to take people back to is minimal processing or healthfully right. processed foods that are directly from the earth or close to it in a way where we don't have to diet because we're eating the way mother nature intended us intended for us to be eating in the first place to, to sustain right. life properly. Right? So, this is why we're doing this. We want people to hear this and wake up yeah. to reality. That's why we Think. call this the deadly food truth. <laughs> it's, that's what it is. It's the deadly food truth, but you can avoid yeah. the deadly part by understanding the truth, absorbing it, and then reshaping your habits of life to honor that truth so that you have a different truth and outcome. Right. Let me ask you this. For the person who's listening or, or watching and they're trying to eat well, I want to ask you, this is one of the notes I took, fat free, no calories. And I know for myself, I used to gravitate, not that I knew any better, but I knew somewhere I wanted to change something. So my thought was, which is because that's how they advertise it, no calories is better or fat free. So in my mind, it's like, I don't want to have fat and calories. What do you say to the person, Joey, that is, is at that place trying to figure out, and I know we've been talking about organic and everything, and they still have that question of, well, what's wrong with fat free or no calories? Yeah. So there's a lot wrong with it. Part of it is the smoke and mirrors game that the food companies are playing with you. Right. So they think, well, a lot of these people have been taught that calories make you gain weight, eat less calories than you burn and you'll lose weight. And so let's give them 
the caloric solutions. Let's make these only 90 calories per pack. Or let's make this zero calories. Or, you know, whatever, some like caloric <laughs> magic that they get to say in their advertising. And so some, oh, that's under 100 calories. I can eat that. I, I don't know anybody who said, yeah, I just started, you know, eating all the zero calorie foods and the 90 and 100 calorie prepackaged Oreos or, you know, whatever. You, you, they all have them now. Even the Oreos, they make, they're making thinny thin Oreos. Like, you eat more of them. I mean, right. But it's, but in addition to that, it's also <laughs> what is this food made of that's zero calories? Right or the 90 calorie version. You have to understand that even how these are made and mass produced and grown, the, the ingredients that are grown to produce a highly processed carbohydrate cracker or cookie or whatever, they're farmed with mass market farming, chemicals, pesticides, herbicides, fungicides. You also have to understand that, that is a, it's still a deadly 100 calories <laughs> going into your body that Maybe it doesn't make you gain any more weight, but it may trigger cancer. It may be the growth fueling thing that causes cancer in you because of the quality of that food or the lack of quality of that food. We need the things that were put here for us in the first place. Like what, whatever source you think we came from, be it God, <laughs> infinite intelligence, divine order, whatever you want to name it, that source is pretty awesome. Like you call it what you want. I call it the Lord. I call it God. I don't consider myself religious per se, but I do believe I'm a believer in these highest powers that created us. I don't believe we're any kind of accident. No way. So the all knowing powers that created us humans to have life in the way that we have it was also so brilliant to produce every single food item that we would need to sustain life in the strongest ways possible, to prevent disease, to live well, to age well. Herbs, spices. Cindy, you know, all of our like cooking, what we teach, we reintroduce all these lost herbs and spices, uh, different types of pepper, uh, veggies that people don't even know about. Why? Because herbs, spices, plants are nature's medicine for humans. They truly are. This is what I believe myself. It's what we teach anybody who will listen. It's what we try to teach our clients to understand. Look, 50 to 80% of the pharmaceuticals in, in uh, either in our country or in the world are derived from plant sources. Yeah. You can go look this up. Yeah. What, is that, what does that tell us? We should Hello. be eating herbs, spices, plants. Right. Not yes. processed 100 calorie snack packs of <laughs> where did that come from? No, we're supposed to be eating <laughs> the way divine order designed us to be eating so that we don't get diseased or we dramatically reduce the risk and we keep strong. We're able to maintain life. We're given life in the first place to live a full long one and fulfilling one, not to die yeah. young. That's right. But we have to be wise enough to understand, okay, what are the things we're supposed to be feeding this human, this miraculous human body with that were put here literally as an extension of the body, of the human being. Everything outside of us that has to go into us to become us is an extension of human beings. Right. It's just not, they're not inside of us yet. That's how we have to see this. Because that's the truth. Does that make sense? It does. That's, that's how people have to start thinking, really. That's what it comes down to. Most people don't connect the dots. That's real. People have to understand the foods on this earth. And there are foods that, there are spices you haven't even heard of yet because I haven't shared them with, with you. But all these colorful spices and herbs and plant foods and nuts and seeds and beans those were all designed to give us life because they become our body. They become our cells. Those are, those are medicine from nature, preventive medicine. That's what we're supposed to be, not foods that cause disease. Right. It's so simple, it's crazy, but a lot of people are just still living. Well, yeah. 
the uninformed yeah. way. It's a reality. Hence, deadlyfoodtruth.com. Is there anything you want to say before I add any kind of things to wrap up here? Well, first I want to say that I laugh a little bit because I was one of those ones when the, when those no fat snacks came out and my mentality, and I laugh not because, it, well, it is funny, but it's funny, sad. And I think that there are people who still deal with it is when I saw it, I mean, it was chocolate. So I always had a thing for chocolate. So they were snacks and I'm like, okay, well, if they have no fat and less calories, I can eat twice as much. So I ate the whole box mm -hmm. every time. Yep. And I was, I didn't feel guilty because it's, it's okay for me to eat, but it wasn't okay. And I'm very grateful, Joey, that I didn't end up with diseases. I had, I have dealt with other issues, not diseases. And I'm very thankful. And, um, we are what we eat and you are an example of that. You really are. I mean, you, yes, you work out, you eat healthy, but we are what we eat. I was what I ate. Mm -hmm. I was, I was obese. I had a lot of issues. I mean, I shared a picture with you recently that who was that? Right. I didn't recognize that woman because I was so big. Mm -hmm. So we are what we eat. And uh, I do want to say that because I was one that was fooled and I don't want people fooled. Yeah. It's, um, again, it's like, so it just struck me so hard that night when I was watching the documentary, like this is, this is, this just makes our lives easier. All we got to do is show people this documentary and have them take notes. Cause you're going to want to take notes when you see it, like it goes kind of fast because you're trying to absorb what you just saw and heard and like, and, 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 and deal with the fact that this is reality. So there's some anger. There's, you know, there are different feelings as you're watching this, like, is, did they, are they really doing this to us? Like, right. and the answer is yes, because you're the, you just, it's how people live their lives. This is what's on the store shelves. All the soda, like this, the parts about soda and, yes. and sugar content. I mean, again, there's so many little pieces to this thing that it has to be watched several times. And then, then allow it to reprogram how you think about how you nourish yourself. That's the real key here. That's the point. And how you educate your loved ones on how they should be nourishing themselves. Not being ignorant to it anymore. Right. Because it right. only, because it it only becomes, costs lives. Right. It becomes a choice. Once We don't know what we don't know. That's just how it is. Right. Once we know, we are fully accountable for that information. And we make the choice what to do with it. We can ignore exactly. it. Exactly. Or we can actually do something with it. That's it. More to come on this because a lot of what we watch in there ties into what we call like my mind shift matrix of changing your eating habits and patterns to achieve great health and, and fitness and, and a decent physique that shows how you take care of yourself, right? Defends itself against disease and premature aging. Uh, there will be more for sure. So if I may let people let people know where to go to get some freebies if they want to. Yes, please. Okay. So if you're watching this either on Cindy's channel, on our Wellness and Weight Loss for Women channel, I may even put this on the Joey Atlas channels, the Fitness Whisperer, and, and my main YouTube channel. The more we get this out there, the better. So if you're listening, watching, if you want to get uh, this material, again, it's deadlyfoodtruth.com, deadlyfoodtruth.com, totally free. It's there for you to watch. You can sign up for the follow-up newsletters, anything else we create along these lines. Um, and I have some good plans to do that. Uh, any exercise, training-related freebies you would like to get your hands on, go to fitnesstraining.live. That's fitness training, just like it sounds, fitnesstraining.live. Enter your name and email address. We've got some awesome home fitness videos just about for any level that you can get started with. Uh, beginners, intermediates, we even have a few things for advanced, but freebies to get started with. You could do right at home or at the office. You don't need, you don't need the home gym system that you see behind me. Um, just your body weight, some floor space, and you're good to get started. Anything else you add is bonus material on top of that. Um, that's really it. If you want to come find me, 
those two places are the best places to start. You'll find my social media links through signing up for those things, uh, or you can come track us down on Facebook as well. But the best place to start is with those two, two links. And as always, if you're interested in any kind of coaching, you need help the way we've helped Cindy, the way we're helping other clients with all this. If you feel like you don't want freebies, you want real life changing help and you want the right people at your side guiding you, uh, then just come reach out to us. You'll find me on Facebook, Joey Atlas. Um, you could go to thejoeyatlas.com. You could fill out the contact page form there. Um, or what, what other ways, Cindy? I think that's, I think that's good enough. Anybody who's serious, yeah. you'll find us. Um, uh, and you can connect and, and see what it is we could do with and for you to, to get you out of that, that trap you're in right now and take you to a much better place like we did with Cindy B and right. others who are doing it with. So thank you, Cindy. I appreciate you giving me the mic there to, to give people the info. Of course. Well, why would I give it when I have you here? So I appreciate it really very much. And um, I believe that you're probably going to do some follow-up podcasts oh, yeah. because there's so much information to get out there. So I just want to encourage everyone to keep an eye out for that. Um, Definitely. And, uh, you know, it's just about how we're educated and you're getting educated here and there'll be more to come. Spread the word, share this, think of somebody Absolutely. who needs to share it. And then also yes. share the deadlyfoodtruth.com. Yes. Uh, just keep spreading it and we'll keep you posted. If you sign up there for the freebies, we're going to keep you posted on where we're going with all this and how we can all help each other. And I highly encourage anybody listening, viewing to sign up for that email newsletter because it really is priceless and you will get so much information. And there's a lot of new things coming with Joey and his coaches to help new clients, existing clients and, um, you know, let's go, let's get on the ball and let's get fit for life. Fit, fit so, for life, yeah. where it's at. Yeah, thank you, Joey, for joining me. Thank you Pleasure. to all my viewers thank and you. listeners. Listen, thank you. I speak well. Listeners. Thank you for all you've done and all you do. You're an inspiration and you're a shining example of what can be done, even when all hope was lost. Thank you. You've turned it all around. And I'm honored to be the guy at your side and honored to know you and see what you're doing now with all this to inspire others. So. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I'm also honored that, you know, you allowed me to work with you. It is a huge, huge honor and a privilege because of what you stand for and how much I've learned and continue to learn every day. And so I'm giving the honor where it's due and I thank, thank you, you all. And um, so in health, wellness and longevity and in living strength, this is Cindy B with Joey Atlas until next time.